So if you watch the last video that I made, um, you'll notice, well, you'll know that uh, we have this fitted on the back, which is a Thule 900 backup storage box. Uh, it's 420 litres. Um, however, because it's on a bike rack, you are going to be limited as to the amount of weight that you're going to be able to carry. Because if you overload it, you're going to snap those straps at the top, uh, probably knacker the uh, pins on the top of the door because it's a hatchback. Um, and ultimately, um, if you're following me, you'll probably land up with um, a storage box on your bonnet, uh, which we don't want to happen. So um, let's open it up, give you a better look of the inside. If you've not watched the previous video, um, I suggest that you go and watch it. Uh, that shows me fitting it. Uh, but as you can see, uh, 420 litres I'll get in there. However, how much stuff can I get in it that is lightweight? Because that's the key to it. It's got to be lightweight to go in the box. Um, and how much stuff do I put in it that I leave in on a regular basis. So let's set this up on a tripod and see how much stuff I actually get in the box and how much room's left over. <laughs> So this is all the stuff that stays in the box on a regular basis. Uh, we will put other stuff in there from time to time, um, put groceries in there and stuff like that. As long as you keep the weight down, that's the whole point of it, keeping the weight down because you don't want to put too much strain on the bike rack because like I say, if you put too much strain on the bike rack, you're going to cause damage. So what do we normally carry? We carry the... This is the front screen. It's the thermal blind screen. This goes right across the front of the windscreen and goes across the side windows as well. Um, and what you'll also notice is we have the wind deflectors fitted. So what that means is that when we put the windscreen cover on across the windscreen and across the sides, wraps over the top of the doors. I'm sure you've all seen one. It means that we can have the window open to probably there, if not all the way down, um, and we'll have a breeze going through the van, which is always handy, especially in the middle of summer. So what else have we got? So we've got this, which is a, believe it or not, a blow-up footstool. So inflatable, same again, lightweight. We've got oil, so spare oil for the van. It is the right oil for the van. It's 5W30, uh, fully synthetic. We've got an empty uh, water container uh, because Gordon only carries a small amount of water uh, in a, I've got a feeling it's a seven litre, which is enough for us uh, because all we do is mainly brew up um, and do a little bit of washing. Uh, but if we're at a site, we'll go and wash up in the in the facility room. Uh, we've also got this, which is a rechargeable bug zapper. Uh, as you can see, there's a bug in it. So it does work uh, and it does need charging. So that charges off the onboard USB ports that we've got. We've got uh, two red bags. These are the carry bags for the red Euro hike bucket seat chairs. These are really, really, really comfy, um, but they're also really light. Um, we've also got the fold-out table. Uh, it's a bow camp fold-out table. It's mainly used um, just to put coffee on between the two chairs. It's perfect height. It's exactly what you need. We've got the extension reel, which you've all know about if you've got a 240 volt hookup. We've got the pump for the camper air awning. 
um, because we have a, a driveway awning uh, and it's inflatable by camper. We've got the fold out stool. No other reason than I'm vertically challenged and so is Mrs B. So we've got the fold out chair. We've also got these. Now these, most of you probably won't know what these are. <coughs> this is the fast clap system. Uh, you get these when you buy the Fiamma privacy room. Because as most of you will have realised, if I come around here, we have on the side a Fiamma F45S wind out awning. So what happens with this is the awning winds out and these are the bars. In fact, I'll do a video on the privacy room as and when lockdown eases a bit more and we can take the van somewhere where it's grass and we can get the privacy room out and show you how it is to put up. And these clip on the side. So if you imagine the awnings wound out down the side of the, the awning where it's all flappy, uh, these fit down the side um, and it clamps it all clamps it all in place so that the uh, the awning doesn't it makes it more rigid that's what I was trying to get at makes it more rigid I adjusted these because they were a lot longer um, and because of where I work I managed to get these adjusted so we've now got them in three sections one per side so a left hand one and a right hand one and the way they work is pull the lever lift the lid up like a little bit of a flip lid put the material in bring it down clamp it clamps the material makes it more rigid we've also got the rafter bar so the fiamma rafter bar same again you wind the awning out that goes straight down the middle of the awning and it makes it more rigid stops it bouncing about in the wind these believe it or not are adjustable shower curtain poles and the reason for that is because when you've got that box on and it's empty the gas struts on the back door are not enough pressure in them to hold the door up so we open the door and then we put that shower curtain pole in its place and it holds the door up we actually have two of those um, I'm guessing I've left the other one in the shed so I'll bring that out in a minute so We've got the Fiamma wind out awning handle, uh, which obviously we'll need. Uh, the obligatory flagpole. So a flagpole with the LEDs on, uh, solar powered, so it doesn't take any charge from the battery. Uh, and on top of that, we normally put a flag. We're currently rocking a North Coast 500 one because we've done the North Coast 500. Got a sleeping bag. Um, two warning triangles, I'm sure you all know what a warning triangle is. Uh, we've got two warning triangles mainly because uh, if you're broke down on a bend you can put one right behind the van and one around the corner. Uh, we've also got this which is a homemade, Mrs B made this, it's a homemade um, screen that goes between the two poles on the wind out awning bit of a privacy screen it also stops a lot of the breeze coming through uh, black gorilla tape because you never know when you might need it two foam mats uh, for kneeling down on and a 240 volt extension lead like I say all that is going to fit in here uh, and if you want to see how all that fits in here it's like a massive big game of Jenga um, so what I'll do is I'll set it up on a tripod um, and I'll show you all going in. It will all fit in. There is a set way of doing it and then there's plenty of room left over afterwards. So let's show you all going in.
Right, so as you can see, it's all packed in. Um, what I didn't show you was what these two items are. This one, the purple one, is a collapsible bucket. Um, collapsible bucket can be used for washing, um, washing clothes that is, or, you know, use it as a bin. You can use it as anything really. Uh, the white thing next to it is a collapsible washing bowl. Uh, same again, when we're on the site, we get all the dirty pots, put them in the collapsible washing bowl, take it all to the facilities and wash it all. Now what you can see is the roof itself goes up really high. So everything that's in it is all really lightweight. There's nothing, you know, there's nothing really of any considerable weight in there to actually put strain on the bike rack. When you're driving, you forget you've got the back box on, I'll be honest with you. It doesn't affect the steering. It doesn't affect anything. Um, it's just really, really handy. Um, like I say, once you lift the screen up, you can see there's loads of space to put knickknacks and anything else that you want to carry. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it. So if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, then subscribe.